and these are other bifurcatum setups. And that's the frying pan, superbum. Okay, how are we doing now? Right, well, that's more just infinite to uh, buy for cartons, which these are up for sale as well. That's a lovely Maranta, which will go climbing up the tree fern when I know the, when I know where the snails have gone. That's uh, Phalaenopsis in jar culture. Got buds there, not a lot, but it's still buds. They're, it's obviously well watered at the moment there, they're all wet. I let that dry out in between waterings and then squirt water in until there's about half an inch sitting in the bottom okay these are well i don't know i mean this this deserves its own i should update my post about sowing wallichii spores because these are just awesome look at that lot look at that it's just There's just hundreds of them. Let me focus. Hang on. That's an ericaceous. No, it's not. That's in moss peat. That's just in plain moss peat. And yes, there is a an invader there. But all of these, I mean. I'll update my post, but look, you can see how many are in there. That, I believe, is Ericaceous is compost. I mean, they're all growing, but the slowest was this New Horizon peat-free compost. Hang on. Qua, no. No, 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 no. This one, that's in a qua compost okay and this one is in just plain sterilized oak leaf mold which was the fastest to germinate but others have overtaken it now maybe it maybe it needs feeding I don't know and that blackening there in the middle that's because it got too wet I think but it's dried out now without going rotten first and these are two more these are two more mysteries grown from spores from Siam Exotica like the earlier one and it's just bifurcatum, look. And there, next to that floodlight. And more flowering orchids. Hang on, let's see if I can get that. in jar culture okay there you go hope you enjoyed it